In the last section, we added the active book reducer, which produced a new piece of application state whenever the book selected action was triggered. In this section, we're going to start to flesh out the book detail view, which, which will render whenever there is a selected book. Before we make this book detail, we need to decide whether or not we're making a component or a container. Remember, we make containers when we want to have a component that can touch the Redux state directly. Now we know what our book is and we know when it changes, so it really makes sense that this book detail should be a container, right? Again, our app doesn't really care about the active book. The only purpose of app is to render the book list and our soon to be created book detail. Only the book detail component really cares about what the active book is. Therefore, we're gonna make the active book component a container. So let's go ahead and get started. In our containers folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, bookdetail.js. And then inside of here, we're going to go ahead and just throw down a little bit of uh, our boilerplate in here for making a new component. So we'll say import React and component at the top from React. And then we will create our class book detail and that's going to extend component we'll make our render method and from here right now we're just going to return some uh, just a div that just says book detail nice and easy I'm going to save this and then we're going to flip back over to app.js and we're going to make sure that it actually gets rendered within our application so at the top here, we'll import our book detail right underneath the book list. So we'll import book detail from up into containers and then book detail. Yep, looks good. And then in the render method, we'll add the book detail component like so. Okay. So let's flip back over to our browser, refresh, and just verify that, yep, our component is showing up here. Very good. If you don't have any text showing up here for book detail, uh, be sure to check your Chrome console uh, for any possible errors, or perhaps your terminal, you know, you never know, typos come up all the time. Okay, so we've got our book detail wired up to be displayed by the app component. We need to also make sure that we hook up the book detail to the Redux store. So it gets told about changes to the active book piece of state. So let's do that next. And the pattern for this is going to be the exact same as what we did in book list. We'll import the connect helper and connect our state, our application state, to the props of this container right here. And remember, we do that by defining a function called map state to props. And then we connect map state to props with book detail. It's, I know, you know, again, it's something that's a little bit esoteric, but uh, it's a very reproducible um, line of steps. You know, every time we want to create a container, it's really the same exact number of steps. So let's get to it. At the top, we'll import our connect function from React Redux. And then down here, we'll go ahead and define our helper function map state to props. This has the argument of the application state. And so we'll return from here. Remember, this object that we return is going to show up as props inside of our book detail. So we're going to return from here. We'll say that it's going to have a prop book, and that will be state.active book. We are specifically referencing active book. Let me pull it up here really quick. Here we are. Because our active uh, book reducer is creating the active book piece of state. Okay, so we've got our map state to props. The last step here is to make sure that we export our container. So we're going to say export default, and then we'll connect map state to props and book detail. 
Also, do not forget to remove the export default up here that we just added a, little, a, minute, a minute ago. So we'll take that off. Okay, so we've now got a connected component in here. Let's go ahead and continue in the next section.